You might have noticed that here at Harvard Business School, leadership is a precondition for enrollment. We're surrounded by graduates that have led at every stage of their lives. I'm talking about elementary school line leaders, volunteer crossing guards, team captains, valedictorians, entrepreneurs, leaders in the armed forces. I don't know if you guys saw walking over here, seeing each group, group of graduates and their families going around like a little duck and all the mother <laughs> ducklings following behind. The leadership here is a little out of control. <laughs> I have the pleasure of introducing two individuals that have led our group of 1,742 leaders during our time at HBS, our co-presidents of the Student Association. These co-presidents decided to lead in the depths of COVID when each of those habitual leaders I was describing had different ideas of what was safe and what would be the best way to build community for our class. It takes a special type of person to choose to lead in that environment. And we're lucky Brett and Irvin are that exact type of special, crazy people. Irvin Gomez was born and raised in Oaxaca, Mexico. He and his family moved to the United States when he was 10, learning English along the way. And Irvin was the first in his family to graduate from college. A proud Midwesterner hailing from Illinois, Irvin is a graduate of Dartmouth College with a Bachelor of Arts in Government and Economics. And before Harvard Business School, he worked in software sales and business development, a fun fact that no one who has class with him would ever know. <laughs> he might have mentioned it. Irvin is also section president for Section H. <laughs> After graduation, Irvin will be launching a search fund, Do North Family Enterprises, with the goal of acquiring a medium-sized medium business in the Midwest and running it as CEO. Brett Anderson was born and raised between Washington, D.C. and her family's farm in Retvik, Sweden, spending her childhood reading fiction or singing musical theater, which explains why she and Irvin will be performing their speech as a musical. <laughs> no? I'm told that was cut for time. Okay, I'm just going to have to do jazz hands, and hopefully that will suffice. <laughs> Brett is a graduate of the University of Virginia with her Bachelor of Arts in History and English Literature, and before Harvard Business School, she worked in brand marketing and venture capital in New York. Brett is also a president of her section, Section E. We should have done like an applause meter I think. Yeah. Was, Which one is it? Yeah, I think H out. might be winning so far. <laughs> and she'll be rejoining the New York venture capital community after graduation at the early stage venture capital and brand agency, Bullish. Please join me in welcoming Student Association co-presidents, Irvin Gomez and Brett Anderson. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's definitely going on her Instagram. He is very right about that. Thank you, April. Thank you, Brandon, for that welcome and introduction. A few weeks ago, during Bridges, after hearing from our truly incredible student speakers, Rana, Priyanka, and Kate, someone asked me, <laughs> Someone asked me, so, what bit of wisdom will you and Irvin be imparting upon us at class day? A minor freakout ensued. I mean, the pressure was on, and April and Brandon only gave us five minutes. We'll talk about that later. But really, for us, what this brought to mind was, well, seriously, why is it that we are the ones speaking today? And to be clear, in case it wasn't evident by our selfie, <laughs> wisdom, well, wisdom, we have very little. But as any good HBS student, you can bet we have a lot of opinions and lots of insights. Over the past two years, Brett and I have had a front row seat, and we saw how this community became so special. This community became so special because of all the work done by individual students, student leaders, staff, and you are guests. Let's take a step back and double click on that. I love the consulting jargon, even though neither one of us went back. Um, now students, this day is all about you. We've had the pleasure of witnessing firsthand the multitude of remarkable achievements of student leaders in this class. The first ever Black Investment Club conference with easily the best Instagram marketing I have ever seen. Truly. 
the first in-person HBS show in three years. <laughs> a thousand plus attended session on the war in Ukraine put together in mere days. And each club whose leaders managed to rebuild with no playbook. And then there are the small actions, the things that really made this place a home. To me, it was my roommate India making me soup and grilled cheese when I finally got COVID. <laughs> my dearest section mate, Eduarda, an incredible artist, passing me her sketches that were to her mere doodles, but to me, dear mementos. And my friend Ishan, who I am pretty sure is the last person of our generation who doesn't text, but just calls regularly just to check in. We also want to spotlight section presidents, section leadership, and SA members. Brad and I got the privilege to work with them, and we're amazed at how they stepped up in the middle of a crazy year to come on this crazy journey with us. Our team, Brandon, April, Tracy, Elizabeth, Pat, Brian, birthday girl Margot, Alicia, and Amaka. They manage a million dollar budget. They organize events for thousands of people. They put up with my cheesy jokes. They also help make HBS a little bit more inclusive. And most importantly, they manage a whole bunch of unruly RCs. Section presidents and section leadership deserve a round of applause for everything that they've done to make this community special. In case you haven't noticed, we love clapping here at the Harvard Business School. <laughs> We're always told that student leadership is a thankless job, and in many ways, it is. So you're probably wondering, why do it? Why spend hours doing a job that you don't get thanked for, and more importantly, you don't get paid for? Well, we saw why they did it. They did it because they care deeply about this community, and we wouldn't have what we have if it wasn't for them. We also had the unique position of working alongside the people who really run this experience. The people who truly changed jobs overnight when COVID hit, and yet they kept going out of a similar deep care for our community. Professors learned to teach on Zoom, HBS staff and faculty ramped up hybrid classrooms, and we were the only Harvard school able to have students on campus and in classrooms. This is emblematic of the work that individuals in our community take on to seamlessly support our experience. It's Luz in the girl who always has a moment to chat no matter how busy she is, Gregory, who responds to every stupid logistical question that I have. Mike and Barbara, who share their wisdom. And Ellen, who jumped into this madness with a smile. The operations of our business school experience are up to the tireless work of unwaveringly passionate people who most often don't get the thanks that they deserve. Which brings us to you, our guests. Parents, partners, grandparents, siblings, families, and friends. You drove us to sports practice. You helped with our homework. You told us we could do it. You picked us up from the airport every time. You packed our lunches. You left your country behind and traveled thousands of miles in search of opportunity and to be here today. You worked late nights and overtime. And you picked us up when we didn't get that dream internship. You were our soundboard for our big decisions, and you told us everything was going to work out. You gave us all of your love, even when we didn't call home for a couple of weeks. You moved us in, and we're sure really glad that you're here to help us move out. <laughs> and while it is true that today and tomorrow, us students were in the spotlight, today and tomorrow is also a celebration of you. You've done so much work behind the scenes to help everyone sitting here get to this special moment. We hope you enjoy the celebration, and thank you for everything that you've done. So, as we promised, yes, yes we love more clapping. clapping. <laughs> more clapping, bring it. That was a little tenuous start, but yeah. thank you for whoever did. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
as we promised and as you can now tell from the past four, maybe five, sorry <laughs> about that, um, we, we don't have much wisdom. Definitely have a lot of words. We love to talk, as many of you know. But in this laundry list of thank yous, in this potential lack of deep wisdom, we do have an ask. We've stood up here and called out the individuals that, in our perspective, made this community so special over the past two years. Students, do the same. Take the time now to text, to hug, to thank the people you are, well, thankful for, the ones that got you here. Here as a member of the graduating Harvard Business School class of 2022. Thank you.